hello guys and welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to give you guys a quick little update of being without my braces and we're going to be doing a teeth whitening treatment in this video so if you guys are interested please keep on watching so i have had my braces off for about a month now and i have been wearing my retainers i took them off just so i can make the video for you guys but i've pretty much been wearing them every single day all day um i only remove them to eat and then i put them right back in i think now i'm getting to the point where i'm kind of like scared to not have them in or i start getting paranoid of not having them in um, i do have a dentist appointment tomorrow where i'm gonna have my teeth whitening treatment done which i'm excited for that i've always wanted one so i hope i get good results and then we're also going to be doing a new um impressions of my teeth uh, for a new retainer i'm gonna get two different retainers this time around so i am excited for that i'm gonna bring you guys along with me a little bit um not as much as the video when i got my braces removed but i will leave that video linked above for you guys if you guys haven't watched it it's been quite nice to not have the braces i feel like i can eat foods now so much more comfortable and it's like as far as cleaning like the like cleaning your teeth is so much easier without the braces like i forgot how easy it was to just even floss so it's like it's those little things that are just like you feel grateful that you no longer have the braces i had them for so long that i guess forgot how easy it was to treat your teeth before that but like i said i'm excited to get this treatment done on my teeth and i told eric i was like i'm not gonna go too light i'm pretty sure they're gonna advise me to what colors to do i have no clue what it's gonna be or how long um of a treatment it is i do have to be there for like four hours i believe so i am excited like i said i'm gonna bring you guys along with me so yeah we'll see you guys tomorrow at the dentist's office it is the next day for my dentist appointment i wanted to record this video yesterday guys but Honestly, I had no idea that the whitening treatment was going to go the way it did. And, like, I honestly, after I went to get my treatment, like, I came home. I was in a lot of pain, and I just decided to go to sleep. And I didn't make the video for you guys. But I wish I would have known what the treatment was going to do to me afterwards. Because it was not it, guys. Like, yes, I'm happy with my teeth. Like, as you guys can tell, like, they're... They're not like crazy white, but they're noticeably white. I'll insert a before and after picture here for you guys to see. Like I mentioned, I had no clue what was going to happen. Um, I came into my dentist appointment and they did the molds for my retainers. And then right after that, he pretty much just asked me to go brush my teeth. And he started putting in um, a thing to hold up my mouth open. And then he put some white thing around my gums. And that's just to protect my gums, he said. And... I, I just never did research on what it treats whitening treatment was or what it did to you. So it was four sessions of 15 minutes and he did tell me, he's like, do you want to take an Advil or, or, or ibuprofen before we get started? And I was like, no, I think I'll be fine. And after I brushed my teeth, he's, he then asked me again, he's like, I think it's in your best convenience to just take the medication. So then I was like, okay, so then I said that that was fine, and I did. I'm glad I did take it, but like, like I said, I had no idea what it was going to be like, right? So whatever, he puts everything on my teeth. I'll insert a picture of how it looked here. I'm using that one as a before reference also. Uh, my teeth weren't super yellow, but when you have the white on top of it, like it kind of just makes the contrast a lot more, I feel like, of the yellowing of the teeth. And right after that, he did tell me, like, usually people don't go all the way to the fourth one. He's like, they'll do, like, three or, the, or, or two. And in my head, I'm like, how bad can it be, right? Yeah, it, it was pretty bad. So then he does, he puts everything in there, and then he puts, like, a gel substance, I believe. And that's kind of what helps with the treatment. And then it's this big old machine that they put on you. So you're pretty much stuck, right? Because, like your it goes like inside of the insert of your mouth so they have that on for 15 minutes the first one was super smooth it didn't feel a thing i was fine so then we finish that one and then we go on to the second round he goes in and takes off the first layer of the gel that he put in and then he puts another one and he puts the machine i want to say like after the five or ten minute mark on the second round i felt like this 
I don't know what I don't know what you can call it. It was like a zing kind of thing or, or like a needle pinch go like up my nerves or something. I have no clue what it was. He did tell me he's like you're gonna feel like he didn't say punches. He said you're gonna feel some discomfort like in your teeth. I never knew what that meant, right? So then the first one happened and it was bad. Like it like it made me like jerk a little bit because it was like what was that? You know what I mean? And that was only second round, like five to ten minutes in. So then it happens again later, like probably like at the ten minute mark. It happens again and I was like, oh, like is this what he's talking about? And this was at the second round and we still have two more to go. So then he comes in and then we took another picture right after that one. So I'll answer that one here for you guys. During that time, he's like, are you doing okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm okay. And I was just like, is this what I'm going to continue feeling the whole time, right? So then we go on. To, he, he asked me right there, are you going to go on to your fourth one? And I was like, I think so. I think I'll be fine. Also, it's hard to talk when you have all that stuff in your mouth. So then we go on to the third one, and on the third one, I think it started to get more intense. I only ever felt those zings, like, on the bottom teeth. I never once felt it on the top. So, like, I was watching a show on my phone, and, like, guys, like, I just, it was, it was very uncomfortable. Is it tolerable? Yes. But at the same time, it's like, why put yourself through that? <laughs> it was very what my understanding it was it was like like a like a nerve pain that you're feeling i've never felt that before and i had my four wisdom teeth removed at once and that pain took me out last night not even when i got my wisdom teeth removed they went ahead and they did the third one the third one was just as bad because i kept feeling those zings probably like every two to three minutes like it was so uncomfortable but we made it through. So then after the third one, he asked me, like, he's like, oh, nothing? Like, you're not feeling anything? And I was like, oh, no, I feel it. So then he's like, okay, we're going to put the intensity low. No, he said, we're going to put the intensity to medium. And in my head, I was like, damn, what intensity was I at? Because it, it was intense. And I don't know. I feel like it was just not fun, guys, at all. Like, and he did tell me, he was like, well, beauty's pain. And I've always heard that, right? Like, beauty's pain, beauty's pain. And I always stuck with that. But, like, for an hour to be there taking these and... Let me finish with my story and then we'll talk about that. So then we go to the fourth one. Automatically, as soon as he puts the thing back in, I start feeling those zings. It was a little bit lower, so the brightness of the light is not as much. And it was the fourth session. So I was like, this is my fourth one. When I was doing the third one, guys, I did think about it. I was like, how beneficial is getting the fourth one? Like, is it even worth it at this point? Because I was uncomfortable. I wasn't crying. Did I want to cry? Sometimes, yeah, it, it was so uncomfortable. And the fact that you can't do anything, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, I just hate anything to do with a dentist. So after the third one... I knew how bad it was, but I was like, fine, let's just get the fourth one done. I was like, it's only 15 more minutes. I already did three. What's another 15 minutes, right? So we're doing it, and, like, they just keep getting coming at me. Like, it was just, like I said, it was just in the bottom. At first, thought it was only this side that was getting it. And then it went to this side, and then I was like, oh, like, I'm starting to feel it on the top. So I was already dreading it. I was already super scared for the treatment. But I was like, it's almost over. Like, you already did 45 minutes of it. Like, what's another 15 more minutes? So then, that was that. The minute mark came that it was done. And I was so grateful it was done. But it wasn't over. Only because your treatment is done doesn't mean you're going to stop getting those zings. And I wish I knew that before going into the treatment. So I will say, if you're going to get a teeth whitening treatment... Just suck it up until you get to the fourth one because I heard that even if you just do the two, you're still going to have the aftermath effects from it. So you're still going to feel those zings for the rest of the day, sometimes even for two days. So I'm in a way, I'm like, okay, I'm glad I got the fourth one done because if I would have only gone to three, I would have felt better. I only went to the third one and then I would have still had these zings when I came home. And I think that's what was the hardest part of it, that once the treatment is done, it's not done. I came home, well not even came home, I was still driving and I would have felt those zings and it's so uncomfortable guys, like I kept having to like shut my eyes down because like I was just in a lot of pain 
and it was so uncomfortable. Um, before I did leave the office, my dentist did give me this um, Zoom Phillips. He said that I can, this is like a teeth whitening treatment to do at home. Um, so this is how the inside looks. Uh, the top one is uh, the whitening treatment for it and the bottom one is a gel relief. So before I did leave, he inserted this into my braces mold and he said that this was going to help me with the discomfort I was having. Honestly, I don't know if it helped me or not. I was in so much pain leaving there and I was so uncomfortable. I don't even know what helped me. Um, when I came home, I told Eric, I mean, yes, the results are great. And Eric's like, oh, like your teeth look like super white. He's like, I think you overdid it. And I was like, no, I don't think I overdid it. I feel like, like they're white, but they're not like paper white. You know what I mean? And coming home, like I said, I was feeling the zings. I came home and I was like, I just want to lay down. So if you're going to do this treatment, one, have a good meal before you have it done. Pretty big meal because you're probably not going to want to eat for the rest of the day, at least in my experience. And two, if you're going to sit there and you start feeling pain, um, two and three, just go to the fourth one because you're going to feel the zings regardless. Might as well finish off the treatment and still have the zings afterwards than to just do the two and then continue having the zings, if that makes any sense. Just finish through the treatment if you can. My experience was, I'm sure it was not as bad as other people's, but it was very uncomfortable. I came home, I laid down on the couch, and I was trying to sleep. Um, I didn't fall, I, my dentist appointment was at 2. I didn't go to sleep till maybe like 5, 30, 6, super early on a Friday. I would have never done that, but I did not want to stay awake through the pains. I did not want to be awake. Like, it was so uncomfortable. Once I did get home, I started feeling them on the top, like the zincs on the top, and it was a pain like it wasn't paralyzing but like you would sh it would be a shooting pain and like I would just like freeze because of how painful it was and I kept like putting my tongue in between my teeth with my retainers in and there it goes like that's making it worse and I'm like no like you don't understand like it's so uncomfortable I'm glad I finished it and I woke up today and I haven't felt one yet my dentist did say I might feel them I hope I don't. Um, I feel like sleeping through them was probably the best thing because while I was sleeping, I did not feel a thing. I don't even know if a muscle relaxer would have helped, to be honest. Um, I did take Advil twice and I feel like, I don't know if that helped or not. It was just scary and very painful and I don't know if I will ever do it again. The whitening treatment doesn't last much. I believe it's like depending on how well you take care of it. But I am glad that I was able to bring a kit with me. He said I can just insert the um, the gel to my retainers. He said it's like putting in a dot in each one. If I ever need like a touch up or if I have like an event or something to go to and I just want to whiten them out for that event or something. But as far as going and getting a whole Zoom treatment in office, I don't know if my mind is capable of doing that again like i mentioned i had my four wisdom teeth removed at once and yes it was painful during the time but i was able to eat when i come home maybe after two hours yesterday i had to force myself to go to sleep because of how uncomfortable i was i might have even had a fever to be honest but i didn't even care i just wanted to sleep and i just wanted it all to be done and i kept saying like tomorrow's gonna be a better day tomorrow's gonna be a better day but guys, it was pretty bad. But I, I am happy with my smile. I'm happy I got it done. Just do your research. I didn't do any research. I didn't think it was going to be that much of a like pain for me to be feeling. And yeah, I'm glad it's over with. I'm glad I went through them all because like I said, the pain still continued during the night. So if you're doing it, might as well just stick with it and just finish all four. You're going to feel the aftermath anyways, even if you just do the two. So, yeah, that was my experience. It was a little intense, to be honest. And I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever do it again. And right now, I'll probably say I won't. But who knows? Maybe in the future, I will. It was pretty intense for me. And I don't regret it. But I wish I would have done some research or at least had known what I was going to feel. If you guys have had this experience, please let me know in the comments down below what you guys would describe the pain as. 
because they're not like punches. It's literally like a needle pick on your nerve and it's a shooting pain. Like you feel it through your head. It wasn't, it was crazy. I had never felt that before. My teeth were very, very sensitive. I agree. And I don't normally have sensitive teeth, but they were sensitive. I woke up this morning thinking that they were going to be sensitive. They've been okay so far. So I'm glad. Before I do let you guys go, I'm going to go ahead and insert another before and after video of my braces. I want to say that I did have a, they weren't, they were kind of yellow. They weren't like too crazy, but they were. And after having braces for so long, I'm sure that that contributed to it too. So I'm going to leave you guys with those videos. And if you guys did like today's video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Solo, solo, solo. Uh, look, uh.